Hey guys, how's it going? It's Orit here. Today we're going to look at creating worksheets and forms in PowerPoint. And I'm specifically going to show you examples of documents, PDFs, worksheets, forms, workbooks, guides that I've designed myself so you can see what's possible in terms of using PowerPoint to create these because so much is possible. It is such a flexible tool to use and it doesn't require any fancy design skill or knowledge. It's just a matter of using, creating shapes, changing colors, choosing your fonts and positioning all of the content in a nice, beautiful, professional, engaging way. I've been designing worksheets, workbooks, pitch decks, media kits, forms, uh, flyers, ebooks, you name it, anything that can be a PDF, I've designed it in PowerPoint and I've literally done hundreds of these documents. I do know Photoshop and some of the other design softwares, but I just love using PowerPoint one because it's just so easy to use and and flexible. It's more lightweight and two, it's an awesome way for my clients to be able to edit the content themselves when I give them the editable file. So I'm going to go over a few categories of documents that I've designed and show you some examples. The first is the typical goal setting worksheet. So you may want to create a goal setting worksheet for your community, for your clients. This is one of the most common types of PDF documents that I've designed. This is one example of a smart goal setting worksheet that I've designed. Again, it was just a matter of going into PowerPoint. I got the logo, I inserted the logo as a picture from my client, uh, put it up at the top, created a rectangle purple square right underneath that logo and wrote, wrote the heading in there. All of these, these tabs here, like this is a shape, this is a shape, all of these rectangles are shapes that you create in PowerPoint. There's a place where you can go insert shape and so uh, I just created these shapes and then put text within them. This is another smart goals checklist. Um, again, it's a, it's a lot simpler. It's just a matter of creating a bunch of rectangles on the screen. I had the client's logo and sort of like a patterned, um, a patterned picture. So I used that as the header over here. So I put the logo on the side and then the, uh, the text for the heading was inserted at the top. And then here is just a matter of, I wanted to separate what was going on up here from the bottom. So I created another uh, rectangle in a beige shape, a lighter shape to kind of highlight this, this uh, bottom piece about writing out your ultimate goal. This is another uh, goal setting worksheet. So this is more, a little bit more hashed out where they had to put in their name, their date, um, and kind of there's numbered points here. So again, all I did was create a circle shape and within any shape that you create in PowerPoint, you can double click on it and insert text and just start writing. So this is how I've inserted text into all of these tabs into all of these shapes like you can see here and it's super easy uh, as well to insert lines uh, within PowerPoint um, so and it automatically creates it straight for you so you can determine how you want it to go and you can kind of feel it snapping into place this at the bottom here was two images that I found and I just created, I flipped it, I created a mirror image of it. Again, you can do that in PowerPoint. You can take any image or shape and then you can rotate it. So you can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. You can flip it vertically or horizontally. So that's what I did here with this image. Now let's look at client forms. So I've designed many different types of client forms. You can do um, contracts, uh, purchase order forms, client agreement forms, uh, patient medical doctor application forms, um, all of those kinds of things can easily be created. So here is a client agreement form that I created. Um, again, I always put the logo either off to the left hand side and then I put the title on the opposite side of the header or I'll center the logo at the very top and then put the title underneath that logo. So I chose to have it this way here um, 
And then this is just a matter of creating little squares again with the shapes tool. I use a shapes tool all the time. They already have pre-made shapes in there. So um, for example, this kind of um, tab, point at tab, you can choose, you can see all the shapes that you're able to create and just click and drag that shape into place. So this form is just a matter of creating headings, creating a bunch of straight lines, and then putting the text on top. Now, you'll notice here, um, you'll probably notice that they're, the lines are equal distance to each other. So you might be wondering, oh, do I have to like sit there and really eye it and measure it? Well, no, the great thing about PowerPoint is you can actually create lines, uh, one underneath each other, and you can, there's an option there to click on Align Center. When you do that, it centers everything, and then you can also have an option to distribute the lines so that it equally distributes them vertically to make sure that the distance between the lines are exactly the same. You can also distribute it horizontally. For example, if I had um, a bunch of like this, I have a bunch of squares going across the page and I want them to be equal distance from each other, I can just go click on distribute horizontally and it'll line those all up for me, which is awesome. Here is another client form which I created. It's a purchase order form. Um, you can create tables in PowerPoint easily. So it'll just ask you how many columns and rows that you want. So for example, here I created this table which is um, six by six. And um, you'll automatically have, uh, it'll create a separate header row at the very top, which you can then put in your column headers and titles. And you can completely customize the color of the table to have different color uh, lines or frames, different fill in colors like you see here. You can also adjust the, the how thick the lines are. So as you can see here, I chose to highlight the grand total part by doing a thick box uh, and also the lines for the signatures on this purchase order form are thicker than the rest of the lines that you see on here. So you can adjust the thickness of the lines as well. Okay, how about progress trackers and sheets and checklists and that kind of thing? This is a progress sheet for uh, a fitness company that actually helps people become bodybuilders. So this here was just a bunch of tables put together in PowerPoint. Um, so again, logo off to the side. This you'll notice is a landscape um, orientation, whereas all the other ones you've seen are, are portrait. Again, that's super easy to do. Um, there is a place in PowerPoint where you can adjust the size of your piece of paper and you can also select whether you want it portrait or landscape. So typically I'll, I'll select letter size, um, but there are other options in there where you can, you can even customize it to exact dimensions as well if you're creating something for print on a smaller piece of paper or a larger poster. So again, this was a bunch of tables um, where I chose the frame, the lines to be white. So it kind of gives it this, um, this cleaner look and not so tabley. Um, so, and then I chose the fill colors to be um, light gray and the sides gold. I will always, always work with the client's branding style and colors. So I get that inspiration either from their website or their logo or from them directly. They'll send me a branding guide. And that to me provides the inspiration, the design inspiration to figure out how exactly everything should look and where things should be placed. This is a monthly budget tracker that I recently designed for one of my clients. Um, again, they wanted, here I'll zoom up on it for you. So they wanted something where their community can go in and track their all of their monthly expenses and subtract that from their income and see how much disposable income they have. So again, these were tables and you notice that at first glance, it might not actually look like a table. Like some of these might not look like it's a typical table like this, but it actually is. You just need to customize a table so that it, it can be, it can have many different looks or styles. So for this, you'll notice there's a tab here. I merged 
the rows across all of these areas right here and you can easily do that just highlighting all of those cells and clicking on merge so it makes it into one and then there's an option to place your text so that it is um, so that it is vertical instead of horizontal as you can see here I did that uh, that's really handy when you want to categorize certain sections of the table like you see here so I'll zoom out a little bit more so you can kind of see it overall uh, again here these are all shapes created the rectangle another rectangle on top of it customize the colors um, put the text on top of it and align uh, there's a triangle shape there so I kind of created that separately and made these massive quotation marks here uh, for the quote that would follow down at the bottom. This is a horizontal weekly planner um, for, for people who want to keep track of their revenue generating tasks and, uh, and other tasks. So here you'll notice I actually, um, each of these, each day is a table. I don't know if I can highlight, no, I can't highlight it. So this right here, this section, Monday, is one table. This section right here, Tuesday, is one table. Um, and it was a matter of merging the entire header of the table across all four columns, putting the Tuesday text align left, and then creating, and then underneath that, having a, kind of like a subheader row um, where I customized the colors and just made things look, uh, look different like that. Uh, you'll notice there are lines within these cells, which you can do as well. You can put pictures and shapes and lines within the tables themselves. Um, again, it allows for so much flexibility on what you can do. Okay, let's look at the guides section. So um, you can create some beautiful publications with PowerPoint. Uh, just to give you an example, something like this where it's a lead magnet. So if you're using a guide to give uh, for free in exchange for an email opt-in, you can create something like this with a bunch of different points on each page and include beautiful uh, stock images as you see here and then have an end page with a call to action. Um, so that was all done in PowerPoint. There's also uh, workbooks, as you see here. This is a stra strategic financial planning workbook um, where someone took an online course and they get this workbook as part of that. So um, you see here, they're prompted to write the purpose of the session, the goal of the session. And again, it's just a matter of placing images and shapes and text in certain places and you can create beautiful publications like these. Um, this is another one that I designed, a course workbook, uh, again, all in line with the customer's branding style. So she provided her fonts uh, to me and I used those. I placed, you know, you can see here a line and the images there's an intake form. Uh, this one doesn't have lines, so she just wanted it blank for people to write next to. And then she had different sections within the workbook, like you see here. So guys, those are a bunch of samples from different categories that you can create. You can also create, you're not limited to creating these things that I've shown you. Of course, you can create pitch decks, line sheets, media kits, ebooks. Um, there's just so many things that you can do with PowerPoint. If you've seen anything specific in this video that you are very interested in learning how to create, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Let me know exactly what type of PDF you're interested in creating by leaving it in the comments section below. And like I said, I will create a full on detailed video for you guys showing you exactly how to design that. If you want to save time on this all together and you know you need to get your worksheet ebook, workbook, anything, any PDF out as soon as possible, um, and you're looking to outsource it to a designer, I would absolutely love to help you. Please let me know if that's something you're interested in. I'm going to put a link in the description to my Fiverr gig that I offer, 
which I create worksheets, flyers, all the stuff that you've seen. So go ahead and click on that link and message me letting me know that you saw my video on YouTube. So guys, that is it. I hope this video has given you some inspirational creative juices to kind of get you thinking about how you want to create your own PDF document. And for letting you know as well that you have something on your computer, a program called PowerPoint that has absolutely all of those tools to help you get that done. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up or once again, just letting me know in the comments down below, that would be very much appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I will be talking more about this topic on Tuesdays, so be sure to look out for those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Back from the dead.